Wall Street Journal corporate news editor Dennis Berman spent a week trying to argue that Twitter isn't worth $10 billion, and then the facts intervene. I suggest that's because he did some reporting. He joins me now to explain himself. Hey, Simon. And you, How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm well, and it's actually very heartening to hear that you have this wrestling, <laughs> because we've all done this, haven't we? We've come up with an idea for a column. Sure. We've done a few phone calls to sort of get the, and you, oh my goodness, it fell apart. Right. So, so what, how, what, how was that? Was that a sinking feeling? Or was that a good feeling? It, it, was, it was sort of somewhere in between, which yeah. is, does this add up? And by that, I meant uh, what are some of these new tech companies worth, yeah. be it Twitter, uh, be it Pinterest, uh, be it Spotify, all the companies mm. I looked at. But I eventually came to, to Twitter, Simon, and, and I just said to myself, you know, there's no way, everyone loves to talk about this, no way this thing can really uh, get the traction that it needs to have a $10 billion valuation where, where the numbers have come in recently. And, uh, you know, one by one, all the facts kept kept okay, adding give up. Okay, give me a couple of the so, facts. So, uh, in 2014, uh, the expectation that is... That hasn't happened yet. That's next year. Okay. Of course, all these companies are valued out in their future <laughs> revenues. So, yes. 2014, the thought is that they're going to make $800 million in revenues. What I was hearing is that that's going to be probably closer to a billion in 2014. So, it's going to, so what you're saying, though, is that it's going to be worth 10 times revenue. Correct. Revenue. Now, but that's, a, that's healthy. Right, but that's 2014. Again, you have to think about number of users that are on the platform mm. now. 200 million active monthly users. Could they get that to 500 million? It's probably not crazy. If you consider the company was, was growing at 40 plus percent last year, mm. if they go th grow 33 percent for the next three years, they'll be at 500 million people. Now, remember, I mean, Facebook's that, at a billion. Fa Facebook is at a billion, but I would also point out to you, this is a tr maybe it could be worth that. It's tremendously risky, though. Remember MySpace? You may have heard of them. Uh, was owned by News yeah, Corp at one yeah, moment. Of course, of they course. went from massive to nothing like that, right? That's true, but, but, but here are real operating revenues coming into the company, and here's the other thing. The margins on this business are pretty darn good. People like you, I know you're a really active tweeter. You know, you're providing all of your services, all that time, all that brain, all that brain power, if, you're giving if, it to Twitter. I've got brain power for, in my tweets. Now that is news. But you, you're a good tweeter, <laughs> but you're giving your services away for free. Now you get something out of it, psychic yeah. reward, followers, whatever that's worth to you. But you're giving away that for free. Now imagine hundreds of millions of people giving their own brain power worry about for free new too. Do you worry about new technologies coming along and making this obsolete, sure. just like Facebook made MySpace obsolete? And you know, I mean, you got Groupon, which I think is a joke. But anyway, you right. know, we got we got a lot of, of companies. Of course, up. but you know, when when you talk about platforms, and everyone loves to talk about platforms as sort of vague, this vague term. Mm -hmm. But Twitter, as I kind of came to to recognize, really is a platform. They kind of set the set the terms, set the space for you to put your tweets. They get advertisers to pay money to to reach you, and they collect a toll along the way. And uh, that's a great business to be in. They don't have to pay for content. So they just have to maintain the, the pipes that keeps everything running. So let's running. go back to this, this competing technology thing. We, yeah. we saw that Instagram got a very large valuation got when it, when it got bought by, yeah. um, by Facebook. And that looks like that could very easily hit the rocks like that, yeah. as far as I can see. Yeah. Why couldn't something similar happen to, to Twitter? And, and those guys are good. They work hard. They've got a nice product now. But someone could, could come along. I mean, you could be in the bathroom one night, you know, no. with a computer programming, whatever. You say, right. oh, yeah, I've got, it. I've got the answer to all this. Bang, they're it could. done. It could, but we, only, we can only live in the world in which we live in. And perhaps if you were an investor, you would, you would put a discount on whatever Twitter's worth. Just call it the uh, technology disruption so, uh, discount to, so the to those earnings. Remember autonomy? That yeah. was like being sure. sold at like 13 times revenue. Yeah, that was worth like uh, 12 billion. <laughs> yeah, well, HP later said nothing, but it yeah, was... But you know what I'm saying? But, but I mean, these things can be worth something now, yeah. and you're saying 10 billion, but a year from now, it could be worth uh, nothing. But, but if we're arguing by analogies, you would also put Facebook, Facebook in that category. You'd say in 2009, hmm. Facebook was, you know, it was crazy that someone would invest in Facebook at a $10 billion valuation. Now it's upwards of 60 billion. It certainly uh, has so much presence culturally and in people's minds mm. that, that uh, well, it's so creating revenues. Well, unless Julia Angwin has left. <laughs> so uh, she's very publicly point. left. Thank Good you point. very okay. much. Thanks, Dennis Berman. All right. Thanks for coming on the show.